Hey everybody, one question I get in the coin shop not very often is what are people selling? People ask me all the time, what are other people buying? What are other people buying? But I don't talk about much what I buy across the counter. Well, that's what I'm gonna do in today's video. Today is Monday, April 15th, the day we lovingly know as tax day. And boy, has it been busy in the shop. I had a lot of people in here buying and an even greater number of people selling. I actually bought more than I sold today in terms of dollars, starting with the first transaction of the day, quite frankly. What did I buy? Well, I'm gonna go over that here in the video coming up, but here is just a sampling of some of the silver that we bought today. Got a whole lot of cool variety. I'm gonna sit down and go through it and show you the different cool things we've picked up. And uh, in the meantime, talk about silver and gold and where we feel the markets are headed based on where they've been and uh, what the future looks like. Should we be optimistic? Stay tuned to find out. So we'll start by focusing in on some 90% silver. You see I have it sorted into different bins. Some of it came pre-sorted. Some of it I spent today sorting. We picked up a good variety of Walking Liberty half dollars today across the counter. These sell really well, 90%. Um, it's probably the third most popular 90% silver item I sell. Uh, second most popular is Franklin Halves. First popular would be Mercury Silver Dimes. So yeah, but we've got a good variety of both uh, Franklin Halves, Walking Liberty Halves. We picked up the good grouping here of 1964 Kennedy Halves, and you can tell by the the sheen on some of these that they are nice, really nice, uh, uncirculated uh, 1964 Kennedys. We also picked up a mix of barber coinage. Got it in a couple different containers here. Oops, sorry, I keep bumping my camera stand here. I gotta be more careful. There we go. So this is a mix of barber quarters and barber half dollars that we got in uh, just today. I've been filling orders for some customers that like barbers, and I was out of half dollars, but good news is I do have more in stock. So if that's something you're after, you can get a hold of me. And then these are the not-so-pretty barbers, but there are some more barbers to choose from if you're looking to fill dates and collections or whatnot, but these ones are pretty well-worn. We would call them slicks. Picked up all these Mercury Dimes today. It's always exciting to get these in the store because they do move quickly. As I said, it's the most popular 90% silver item that I sell right now. If you missed my video, it would have been uh, probably two videos ago about what I'm buying and what I recommend people buy. I've been telling them this, 90% silver. Not necessarily just Mercury Dimes, but the half dollars that I showed before also. Quarters are always a good bet too. All these are, whoop, there's a dime in here. All of these are 90% silver quarters. They remain very popular. They move well. And also the Roosevelt silver dimes. We picked up all of these today. So it's great that uh, I was able to buy a bunch of silver, junk silver or 90% silver across the counter because we have been moving a lot. So that helps replenish some of the inventory that's been going out. Get those out of the way. Let's slide some of this stuff up here. So here we got a 10 ounce, I believe this is called the Big Maple, maybe? The name might be wrong. I'll, I'll put what it's actually called up on the screen. But this is a 10 ounce Canadian maple leaf. Got the queen on it. The, the coin itself is pristine. The case is what's scruffy. So why don't I take that cover off? It'll look much nicer for the camera there. Beautiful example. Careful not to fingerprint it. But yeah, that's a beautiful 10 ounce Canadian maple leaf that we picked up today across the counter. Also picked up this beast, a Royal Canadian Mint 100 ounce silver bar. Individually serialized, looks like it was made in 2023. Nice hefty hunk of silver there. And did we ever get a variety of 10 ounce bars today? I actually have two bins, so I'll bring them both up here. Kind of go through them. I realize they're both not going to maybe fit on camera here. Let me turn them this way. 
That's a little better. I'm sitting at a different desk than I'm normally at, so I have a different camera rig. So it's a little wonky for me, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, but we got this nice Royal Mint 10 ounce silver bar, uh, Britannia. This one's no longer sealed, but it's a really nice Geiger 10 ounce fine silver bar. These are good quality pieces. We got some uh, Chinese year of the fill in the blank. Uh, 2017 Chinese year of the rooster. Got that 10 ounce silver bar today. Got a 2016 year of the monkey. And I actually had some 2015s, but they sold. I don't think I have any left. Yeah, sold those already. I uh, got a nicely toned nine fine mint 10 ounce silver bar. These are kind of more common ones. Here's a nice Geiger one that is wrapped. Nice 10 ounce bar there. This one's my favorite. This might go home with me, so don't ask if it's available. <laughs> I guess you can ask, but it has an outline of the state of Nevada, initials NCM, and it's 10 ounces of 999 fine. Very cool piece. The rest of these are kind of common. I won't go over each one. Oh, here's a nice JM, 10 ounce. Got some of these uh, Big E Engelhard 10 ounce bars too. I think we got four or five. Some are still in original plastic, some are in little baggies. So yeah, just a pretty good variety. It's another Engelhard, once again with the Big E. Some more JM, Johnson Matthews. And uh, we actually bought these back across the counter. This is a 10 ounce bar that I typically stock, but we had a customer sell some back today. So yeah, so that's it for the 10-ounce bars. Before I get too much further, we'll talk about silver, as I promised. I don't want to get to the end and realize we didn't talk about it. So metals have been moving uh, quite violently. Uh, they're very volatile right now. And uh, people come in almost every day you know, asking for advice, asking for opinions. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I a fortune teller, but um, I give them my true thoughts. And I had a couple customers in today that asked. So I'll just kind of echo what I told them. And I've said this before in videos, so this isn't going to be new to those of you who like to watch. Silver and gold both, I believe 100% will continue to go up. But I also believe 100% gold and silver will go down. There's going to be pullbacks along the way. Is it going to hit, continue to hit record highs? Is gold? Well, that's hard to say. It sure is very possible, given the state of our world, with wars, the economy. I picked up these today. These actually arrived from a wholesaler. Thank you, Dave. Uh, two one ounce American Gold Eagles. So I needed those, so those showed up today. Um, but the hard part is just really to know, you know, how, how much is it gonna continue? How quick is it gonna go up? What's gonna go up more? Nobody really knows that, but as I showed in a video uh, just last week, over the last 30 days, silver outperformed gold by double on a percentage basis. Silver is up over 20%. Gold is only up about 10%. So it kind of made me feel good because me personally, I have not been stacking gold lately. I haven't for well over a year now. I've only been stacking silver. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but that's what I've been doing. And, you know, the last 30 days, it makes me look pretty smart. But, you know, over the last, uh, let's say, six months, gold is outperforming. So... You never know what you can make charts and graphs always look you know the most attractive to whatever point you're trying to get across so take that with a grain of salt you know last 30 days it would have been a good choice last six months gold probably would have been a better bet um, but where do i see it going from here in terms of price i don't know i believe for a long time that silver should be at least 35 dollars an ounce and it's not I mean, as I film this, we're sitting just under $29 an ounce. It's Monday, the 15th of April, as I said in the intro tax day. Do I think it's going to get up to that $35 an ounce number? Well, sure I do. But at that point, what does $35 buy? Does it buy the same that $28 buys today? If that's the case, you know, we protected our purchasing power. If, you know, purchasing power of the dollar that we measure metals in right now decreases... I'm sorry, increases, and we can buy more stuff with our $35 than we can with 28 then holding on to precious metal 
did us a favor. It stayed ahead of inflation. So another thing a lot of people ask me, you know, at what point, Josh, are you going to start to liquidate your personal stack? Well, there's been times over the years that I flipped it back and forth between silver and gold playing the ratio game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link a video. I've done several videos on it. But I don't know. It, it really just depends on what that new silver spot price in terms of dollars will buy. As I said, you know, silver could go to $100 an ounce. But if it buys the same stuff that $28 does today, I'm not going to liquidate my silver. You know, it protected me in inflation. I uh, can't necessarily make money on it, though, because... I'm still going to have to buy the same goods and services with that $100 that I could have bought for 28 today. So it just really depends on the state of the world, how the economy is, how strong the dollar is, and if we're even still on the dollar. I mean, there's so many doom and gloom videos out there talking about the end of the U.S. dollar. You know, the BRICS nations are coalescing and, uh, you know, basically putting together a group of powerful nations uh, that have a lot of gold and a lot of precious metal in their reserves that are looking to you know, come up with exchangeable currencies that they can trade back and forth, thus eliminating the need for the US dollar. I think the dollar's been dead for quite a while. Um, it's beyond life support, I think, but I still accept it in my store. I still accept it at my Burger Kings. You come in to buy a Whopper, I'll take your $10 bill, I'll take your $20 bill, uh, only because I can turn around and use those to purchase more products to make more Whoppers, kind of like in here with more silver. So, you know, I'm a believer in real money. That's what we have in front of us here. We have silver. As I showed you, there's some gold here. Um, but you need to have fiat currency to survive also. So don't get rid of all your dollars and put it into any one thing because as of right now, most places require you pay your debt with fiat. So having said that, we'll move on to gold. Uh, gold's been on a tear, as you all know. It's, uh, whoops, it went up over $2,400 per ounce. It uh, quickly came back down into the $2,300 range. Um, so what does that mean? What's next? Well, good question. Um, I think given the state of the world, I think gold probably will continue to rise, just like I believe silver will continue to rise. But at what rate? Is it going to outpace our purchasing power? Is it going to outpace inflation? That's really impossible to know. I think, you know, over time, just like silver, gold can be a great investment. So if you're partial to the yellow metal versus silver, buy gold. In fact, I sold out of some certain gold pieces today. I've been out of gold buffaloes for about a week. Um, I actually sold out of gold bars on Saturday, and I had a customer in here wanting to buy a gold, a one ounce gold bar. I said, well, I can get some ordered. Uh, instead, he opted for silver because he wanted to walk out with real money rather than the fiat in his pocket. So instead of buying that ounce of gold, he bought some silver, which I think is a great idea. Uh, but typically he's a gold buyer and I just didn't have exactly what he needed in stock. So, but yeah, I believe gold probably throughout 2024 is gonna continue to set new all time highs. But what does that even mean? I mean, I should, I should clarify, all-time nominal highs, you know, in terms of dollars, not in terms of purchasing power, because there has been many times in history where your ounce of gold or the price of an ounce of gold could buy more than it can today in terms of goods and services. So, but I, I think it's going to continue to, to butt up and go past that 2,400 number. I don't like to predict numbers, but I don't think $2,500 per ounce isn't unreasonable. I mean, literally we're, what, 5% away from that maybe? Don't check my math, but I think that's close, maybe 6%. Um, yeah, it doesn't really have to move a whole lot to get to that 2,500 mark. And 2,500 back in October, when gold was $1,800 an ounce, seemed unobtainable and so far away. So I think metals are finally starting to value in a way where they should be. So. I won't be surprised if both gold and silver continue to charge up in 2024. But as I caution you, along the way, of course, there's going to be pullbacks. There's always pullbacks in the metal. So if you can time the market and buy on the dip and ride it on up on the way up with the stuff you're holding on to, you're doing it right. 
Uh, and if, uh, <laughs> if you have a crystal ball, as I mentioned earlier, boy, let me know too. I'd sure like to know when it's gonna jump next. But So here we have some uh, five ounce silver pieces. I really like these because I don't get five ounce silver rounds very often and one person sold me all of these. So kind of more of the same. There's Silvertown poker chips and buffalo rounds and there's another one there. Got a variety of five ounce bars. These aren't anything out of the ordinary, but these are kind of the Walking Liberty or Silver Eagle, arguably. Obverse design. There's Morgan Silver Dollar bars. There's some Buffalo bars. Uh, what else do we got in here? It's just kind of more of the same. Uh, we got a couple of uh, five ounce, I call these buttons. They might have a different name, but they're a five ounce silver hand poured piece from Scottsdale. Five Troy ounce button. Oh, it does say button right on there. Scottsdale Mint, 999 fine. So I picked up a couple of those. I thought those were pretty cool. Pieces that I don't necessarily have a wholesale source for, uh, but they walked into the shop today. So I was happy to buy those. Uh, we have a whole bin of Sovereign Silver here. We got a older Australian Koala. Looks like a 2015. Got a 2018 Chinese Panda. Here's an Australian uh, 2018 Dragon Bar. And actually, uh, I have a customer lined up for this one, so I'm going to have to give him a call. He'll be happy that I got one in. He's had his list uh, at my shop for probably six months. Uh, Australian Koala 2014, and I won't go through all these. There's some Backdate Eagles, some uh, Canadian Superman. Anything different in here. Just some different Pandas, more 2015 Koalas. Got a toned Libertad 2008. Brandon, I'm sorry it's not an odd year, but it's an even year, 2008. He watches, he'll know I'm talking to him. And then a 1993 uh, Onza, one ounce silver Onza. So some cool pieces in that bin there. What else can we show you? We got some odd weight silver stuff too. So we got some half ounce silver bars, a dragon on them, and uh, presumably Chinese writing on the back, half ounce. Got a half kilo or a 500 gram Geiger it's starting to see some toning. There must be some small tears in this plastic. A 250 gram, which is a quarter kilo. A 100 gram, which is 3.215 ounces. This one's kind of cool. It's a vintage one. I'll see if I can get it. There we go. Um, it says Hecla Mining Company, H-E-C-L-A, Wallace, Idaho. Three ounce, 999 fine, 1968. That is a cool piece. Uh, this one's a sterling bar, a thousand grains of solid sterling from the Franklin Mint. Uh, theming on this one, Christmas 1974. There's a lot of vintage 1974 stuff. I'm not sure why, but... And then uh, a Franklin, a four ounce, $100 bill, three nines fine pier, front and back design on that. So that's kind of cool. So those are some different odd weight things. and. But wait, there's more. About a whole bunch of, well, I guess I got some different things in here. Bought some Morgan Silver Dollars. Nothing to get excited about here. These are common. And then a Peace Dollar. So um, we got uh, some half ounce rounds. Actually, there's a couple bags. So I got quite a few of those. And then I got a couple half ounce uh, Year of the Monkey Australian pieces. Uh, these are year 2016, so those are kind of cool. Hopefully those are showing up well on the camera. And we got some 10th ounce that probably look like this. I've had people call these dimes. They're technically more silver than a dime. They're 3.11 grams of silver, uh, where a silver dime only has a little over 2 grams. But yeah, we got a bunch of fractional... Tenth ounce silver, we got some uh, quarter ounce silver as well. So yeah, what a mix of stuff. And you know, honestly, that's not all. Um, we got in three monster boxes today of silver uh, mixed rounds um, that were part of my flash sale last week. I'm using those to fill all my online orders. All the ones that I had in store have sold to customers. Then we have some impaired sovereigns here. We'll see what's inside. Looks like we got a mix here. 
So we got an American Silver Eagle. Ooh, look at that one. I've never seen one colorized like that. Who loves Dale Earnhardt Jr.? It's a 2000 colorized Dale Earnhardt Jr. American Silver Eagle and Earnhardt Sr. Look at that, you can get the pair, junior and senior. Now this one's cool. I actually saw one of these earlier in one of the other tubes. Now this is a 2021 one ounce, three nines pure. It's an English coin. Very cool, beautiful design. Looks like we got some Philharmonics. Uh, here's a different one. It's just a silver round, kind of in the design of an older coin. Got a couple of those. Ooh. I don't know if I like that or hate it. I don't really like colorized eagles uh, for the most part, but I've never seen one colorized in that fashion before. There's another different one. Got uh, autumn leaves on it and kind of an autumn sun. Oh, wow. This one's more of a summery one with summer flowers. I wonder if that's all part of a set. Huh. Interesting. Uh, and then we got a Korean. Uh, this is an American 90% silver commemorative commemorating the 38th anniversary of the Korean War. This came out in 1991. These are 0.7734 ounces of silver. Uh, just like, where did I put them? Uh, the Morgan silver dollars and the Peace silver dollars that I showed before. Same amount of silver in these two. Less than an ounce, just over three quarter. Got an Armenian Noah's Ark. Of course, all of these are considered impaired. So don't cringe that I'm touching them. They're already impaired. They have some milk spots or whatnot. And then a funnel web spider. I haven't had one of these for a while. So, but yeah, those all came in as well. And I got more stuff behind the desk and then I'll sign off. So you guys aren't totally bored to death. Um, but like I said, I didn't have time to show everything, but I think I described most everything. So this is a, an interesting one. I, I've actually done a video on this before on something similar. This is a Stephanie Sabin PCGS president autographed label on an American Silver Eagle 2022 PCGS MS70. Now, these sell for ridiculous prices on certain websites because of her autograph. And uh, because PCGS graded this, um, they have kind of, you know, control, I guess, of the population that they'll grade, which in a sense controls the pricing. So it's kind of a pyramid scheme, if you ask me. But um, this isn't worth what they're selling for to me. So I bought this reasonable. I'll sell it reasonable. Uh, but if you didn't see my video about not buying the label, I'll link that as well. Because I had a customer that brought in this label on a gold buffalo and they paid almost $5,000 for that coin, which was more than double what they should have, only because of the label. Um, did they get their money back out of it? Well, you can watch the video to find out. I'll link it in the description. So picked up that today, came in a fancy box. Woohoo, right? Picked up this nice set. It's not really a set because it's two of the same coin, but it's a 2023 S Silver Eagle Proof Ultra Cameo. They got a unique label on it, but those are two nice, beautiful coins. Once again, with an autograph, which doesn't excite me. And then uh, two more with Stephanie Sabin. She sure signs a lot of stuff, uh, but these are actually Proof 2023, Proof 70 American Silver Eagles. Uh, just to show you real quick of some other things we buy. I don't even know if this is going to show up on camera. Maybe I can pull it out. I'm not even going to try try to get this to show up, but this is a uns uncirculated roll of 1924 peace dollars. We also got uncirculated rolls 1921 P and D Morgans and a 1925 P peace dollar uncirculated roll. And we bought a bunch of scrap silver. Uh, this is scrap silver. Some of it's gold plated scrap silver. We buy scrap gold and silver all the time. In fact, I had scrap gold that I bought today, but I already put it in a box. I'm shipping it off to the refinery today to take advantage of those higher gold prices. So now if you saw anything interesting in the video, you can drop it down in the comments or send me an email or a text to let me know if it's still available. Uh, but we get interesting stuff in the shop 
every day. But today, more so than any other day lately, boy, did we have a lot of stuff come in the door. So what does that mean for the hobby? Well, I think there's a lot of people that are taking profits because silver price is up. But yeah, that's just what comes in the shop on a, I don't want to say a typical day, but on a day, it all came in today. So, but thanks for joining me. I want you, if you're still with me, I know this has been a long video of me blabbing, but drop it down in the comments. Are you still buying gold and silver at the high prices? Have you had to liquidate? Were you happy with the price you got when you liquidated metal? I'm interested in hearing your feedback and your stories on that <clears throat> because a lot of different customers liquidate for different reasons. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Click that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you get alerts when I put out new videos. And if you could like this video as well and drop a comment below, it all helps get my little channel some exposure so we can get education out to more and more people. Appreciate you all tuning in today. Thanks so much. Have a great day.